Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how you can consolidate your safety circuit using the SF4C safety light curtain and its safety input function. So what this actually does is it's going to take all of your safety peripherals and monitor them using just the light curtain itself. So on a typical machine you may have more than just a light curtain, maybe you have a door switch or an e-stop switch or in this case one of our SW101 touch switches. Now all of these are going to be fed into the light curtain so that you don't need an extra controller. Now, if you look on the screen itself, you see the S1 and S2 lights are indicated, meaning that there's nothing blocking my touch switch here. So all of this flows right into the controller, which is the light curtain itself. There's no external controller in this case. The light curtain has two OSSD outputs that trigger these two four scattered relays to shut off my machine. So in this case, I'm using this light behind the light curtain as my machine itself. So if I break the light curtain, you'll notice that the machine turns off hitting my reset switch and bring everything back to normal and I can now demonstrate the same thing using my touch switch. So it's all fed into the same safety circuit. There is no extra controller needed. So I can have a, a whole array of extra peripherals that all need to do the same thing and they all go straight into those two safety inputs to shut the machine off. So it's extremely simple, it saves panel space and that's a big deal when you have a smaller machine, something that you can't really have a large controller in.